Hello friends. I'm in the little turbo clown car today with lesson number two. Back to basics. We're going to learn how to navigate around objects. Get your spatial awareness. But first, something very important to do. Now. Let's see. Give me the full meal deal. All right. Let's see how it did. It's still a Fiat. We're coming up to one of my favorite flying spots with a GPS drone. Isn't that lovely? What a great structure. It's perfect for our first lesson. If you don't like heights, close your eyes. Ooh, that's a long way down. Yeah, that's not survivable. The Mini 2 is a very capable drone. I wouldn't put it in this situation if I didn't have confidence in it. Flying over water is a little disconcerting at first. Um, flying under a bridge can make you lose your GPS ever so briefly. So when you're doing it, don't stop under the bridge. Just keep on going. It's all about perspective so that you won't be afraid to go under and over things. I'll show you exactly what to look for so that you know you're not going to hit it. He's a little wobbly. But we're good. Right, Minnie? You got this? Okay, he's got this. First, I'm going to go through this rusty thing for you. Out over the water, like a brave little soul. There you go. All right. He smoothed out. Now, I've got line of sight, and I can see he just went right through there. That was no problem at all. There are a lot of birds around here, I will tell you that. I'm gonna turn around. And we're gonna go underneath. Oh, come on birds, leave me alone. Leave me alone, buddies. Oh my God, oh my God, there's a lot of birds. Get out of here, you guys. Oh, they are swarming me. All right, I gotta go underneath. Get on the other side, just for safety's sake. There he goes. All right. GPS signal weak, yes, but I'm going through out to the other side and we're good. All right. So, you want to go you want to go into this bridge, right? But say you're at this height. You can see the traffic. That's because you are above being level with the bridge. First things first, make sure that your gimbal is set at zero. That'll help you a little bit. I've got mine set so that it won't go above zero so that I can just push this all the way up and then it'll be level. You never wanna go over a bridge. I mean, you can if there's no cars, but that could be considered critical infrastructure. You just don't want to risk it. So go down until you can see the other side of the underside of the bridge. You don't see it yet, don't see it yet, don't see it yet. Now, we can see it just a little bit. If I were to go forward now, I would probably be within three feet of the bridge, but you want to be sure. So go down a little bit more, and as long as you can see the other side of the underside, which is right here, compared with here, then you know you're going to make it. Now, keep in mind that people fish off of bridges, and sometimes they leave their fishing lines dangling, and you are not going to be able to see that on your monitor. So just be aware of that. This is a, a fairly wide bridge. I will lose GPS for a moment, but if I'm 
just pushing through, it'll reacquire it on the other side. Going through, forward, with confidence. Am I gonna hit it? No, no, I'm not gonna hit it. I'm close, but I'm not gonna hit it. Down? <laughs> the other bridge was a little bit lower, and the birds are back. Uh, one more little thing we can learn here is when you wanna go through a structure like this, again, use perspective. You see those beams? Those are gonna be parallel with each other, so if you can see the beams on the other side, then you know you're gonna make it through by just pushing forward. No other maneuvers, just forward. Come on down, little guy. Come on, buddy. Uh-huh. All right. There we go. You'll want to keep an eye on your power on the app because in wind like this, it corrects itself constantly, so it's going to eat up the battery a lot quicker than you're used to. The key to getting comfortable with your quad, no matter what size, whether it's the Mini, the Phantom, larger, smaller, whatever, is to practice, of course. Find you a place that's preferably not over water, that's safe, where you can get used to your quads dimensions, much like you get used to your car and where the wheels are, the wheelbase, the width of it. The Mavic series of drones is a great drone to use if you're gonna be flying through stuff because the camera is pretty much level with the bottom of the leg. So you don't have a lot of stuff to catch onto below the camera line so that you can just bring it up to something and then see before you fly over it how much clearance you're going to have. This is a good place to practice. I'm going to get somewhere right in the middle. But remember, if you can see the underside of the other side, you should be good. Even if it gets buffeted around, and then got to watch out for those weeds. Same thing if you're coming up over something. If you just want to skim the top of something, you can get an idea of how close you are by how much of the other side you can see. It doesn't look like it has a lot of room, but it actually does. So let's see what happens if I just go down the center. The wind changes a little bit, but it's good. Now, if I'm up level with the roof, and I'm over the roof and I want to come down as I'm coming towards me still you can use perspective and make it happen yeah hello <laughs> let's go to one more location I tell you, I just love the Mini. It's quick to set up, it's durable, and uh, there's a link in the description if you wanna get one of these. There's one more tip that I use quite a bit in real estate, so that's why I'm here at the Chite Hotel. I think that's French, Chite, yeah. Uh, you love getting those back and away shots, those up and away, the reveal shots for the full property. So get yourself in the air, of course, by now you've already done a walk around the property yourself. Now do a fly around to kind of get your bearings of what you're looking at, how close you are to the road, what the tree line is like, where any wires are located. There's a little bit of an incline here over that way. So those trees are gonna be the highest point. Fly up to where you're even with those trees until you see the other trees behind those trees then you know you're kind of level with those trees. You see the other trees in the horizon there? Spin around to where you're going to back out to. And you can see here that in fact you are above the other trees. So that you know if you start here and go back filming the corner of the building that you're not going to hit the trees behind you because while you're going back and up you're also looking at the trees on the other side. Most of the time trees will be level with each other unless there's a little rise. I'm going to tilt the gimbal down just a little bit because when I get above I'm going to want to see a little bit of the roof line. 
And you can do this one of two ways. You can trust on your monitor that you're not going to hit anything by looking at the trees in front of you. Or, and in conjunction with, your visual observer making sure that you're not backing into anything. If you happen to be by yourself, and you can be, as long as you have VLOS, visual line of sight. And then you'll get a lovely reveal shot, like this. If you don't feel confident enough to fly backwards, you can fly forward and then you'll know you're not going to hit the trees and then just run the video backwards. Be careful not to get any birds or cars driving or flying backwards because that is kind of gives away the trick. But if you come in forward, you can get even closer to the trees and it gives it a much more dramatic feel. And so we end our stay at the Chate Hotel. I love that Mini too. And just for kicks, what if you wanted to fly down a big huge pipe for some reason? Ideally what you want to do is have a vantage point with yourself right at the end of the pipe so you can see where you're going. The idea being that there's a teeny tiny circle at the end which is the same size as this circle here but it looks smaller because of perspective. You want to keep that circle as centered, the tiny circle, as centered as you can with the big circle. There's a little bit of wind out here and that will change as soon as we get in the pipe. So be aware of that as well. So here we go. You see how the wind changed? And if you get close to the walls, you'll get sucked in. You could actually hear the difference. See if I can come back through it again. It's a little bit difficult flying towards yourself, but you'll get used to it. See the first lesson for, the, for that. There we go. All right, before I go, you may remember in the first lesson that I tried to land this little drone on my head with tragic consequences. Oh, ah, buh and buh. Well, many of you made suggestions. Hey, Ken, why not use a graduation hat? It's got a flat top on it. Well, I've got one, and it even has a special little helipad on the top. So this should be fine. Easy peasy. Okay, here we go. Aiming right for the heli helipad thing. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous. Do it. Yeah, I did it. All right. <laughs> Is it on there? Fantastic. Look at that. All right. Just a warning. Remember, kids, don't do what you see Uncle Ken doing. I've got many, many years of experience. So if you want to graduate to the next level, be sure to stay tuned for lesson three. Don't look like James Bond. Until next time, book and boy.